Based on sound quality alone, do you feel that mixing with a good analog console is better than working straight in the box? Does the difference in sound justify the expense of the console? I spent uh, $6,600 on the console, $750 on the meter bridge, and about $4,000 on the patch bays and wiring. Um, I consider it, from a sound quality perspective alone, to be the greatest waste of money in my entire life. I would say I get no sound quality benefits. The analog EQs are nice. The console doesn't hurt the sound. I've done tests with that, with skipping the, the console entirely. Uh, it just kind of sounds the same. Um, I've done summing tests and got nothing out of it to speak of. And it takes an enormous amount of time to make sure all the, the, uh, the meters are perfectly the same volume because I take the time to phase cancel and all that kind of stuff. Um, no, the whole analog thing, I think, is the, the biggest damn lie there is. Analog for being analog. Um, I do think transformers have a, a clear and obvious sound. When I say clear, I mean that it's obvious that it's, you've added a transformer. But you can get a transformer between 20 and 100 bucks. And I know a lot of guys will run them in line just for fun. And that's something I've been wanting to play with. Possibly a summing box that has all the transformers in it, just to get more distortion, really. It's own unique kind. Um, and I do, I'm a fan of that, for sure. But... Um, this idea of analog, just calling it analog, is it's such a broad thing. Like, like, what do you think of, I don't know, China? 